from Mama's Table to Mine. Congratulations to Bobby Dean, New York Times best-selling book. It's out. He's on his nationwide tour. We caught up with him on our radio show at Love 860, and here's our interview with Bobby Dean. Bobby, welcome to Atlanta. What's up, Colin? Thanks, man. It's good to be in the South, dude. I've been everywhere except the South. So is it harder doing your cooking shows or actually writing your own book? Uh, well, writing is difficult. I had to learn to. I had to learn to read. I'm just kidding. Uh, writing this book was it was tricky because I'm a super Southern guy. My mom is Paula Dean, and so traditional Southern food is is big to me. And the idea of recreating it in a light fashion was really scary, but. Much success came through this book. It's number one on the New York Times bestseller list in its category, which is really exciting. So obviously I did something right. Well, congratulations on that. What was the secret to finding the lower cal ingredient? Well, with food, it's like really elementary, Con. I mean, I, I, my mom has got like 16, 17 books out, so it was, I had a lot of research to do. So what I did was I looked at recipes, and I found the major players in there that were like heavy in fat and calories, and I just tried to figure out really uh, elementary ways to dial them back or replace them with, uh, with you know, just fresher herbs and spices, and voila. Out to ask your book. question. Now, not only is your book in the grocery stores, but you are on People Magazine with your family. Is that odd checking out and seeing yourself? It's worse when you see yourself on the Inquirer. That's the worst. People Magazine is good. That's great. The Inquirer and Star is like, oh, we're there again. I mean, it's a little weird, but I'm getting used to it. My mom, you know, she's been at this for a dozen years or so. So her fame has just been like crazy. There's an adjust. Yes, it was weird to see myself on People Magazine. Yes, it was. As we, uh, as we look at a more healthier country, uh, what do you think is going to be the key to get more of us to adopt it? Well, I think we're, I think we're there. I mean, people are embracing uh, – uh, look, it's not fried chicken and collard greens and peach cobbler and sweet tea that have produced a, uh, this epidemic, this obesity epidemic that we have in the country. I think that it's processed foods. I think that it's fast foods. And you know what? If you think about it, our ancestors used to be working the fields – from from dawn to dusk and you needed to eat heavy for that sustenance and we've become a country far more of convenience a lot we're doing a lot more sitting you know than we used to be but our food has gotten more fattening and it's not hard to figure out what the result of that is going to be you know what i'm saying so i think that people understand that they need to be taking better care of their bodies and once you have a family like my brother has got two young children my mother has got grandchildren got a lot to live for and a lot to take care of yourself for. I think people understand that. And the most important thing is healthy food does not have to be tasteless and bland. It can be very good, and this book is proof of that. If any Southern Bells to swoop you up, what qualities is she going to have to have? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Single. <laughs> Sweet, charming, mama's going to have to like her. I mean, you know what it is. You know exactly what it is. Real good looking. Actually, I have a girlfriend. I'm seeing somebody, and she's very Southern. She's from Venezuela, <laughs> and she's a triathlete, so right up my alley. So have you raced against her yet? Race? Yeah, I've raced. No. <laughs> no, no, no. no. She's, got, she's got me. She's, she's pushing me, though. She's making me run further and faster than I ever have. Awesome. She's hard to keep up with. She's a great girl. Awesome. Last question. Given your tremendous success, what advice would you give to others living out their dreams? Um, I would say uh, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't get in your own way. I have been guilty of that. My mother has proven to me that you truly can do anything that you want to do as long as you commit to it and you work hard. So um, have fun, enjoy your life, and don't take yourself too seriously. I think that's the main thing. Well, we're glad you're doing that. Congratulations you, on your Bob. success. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Good to see you, man. It is always a pleasure to catch up with Bobby. I love his energy. He's got great ideas, healthy recipes for all of us. New York Times bestseller. Congratulations to him. We had him on our radio show for a whole hour. You can download that on our podcast at conjackson.com. Tune in also one to two each and every day around the country on iHeartRadio or Love 860. Thanks for joining us.